I want to ask you a question. Who's coaching you? Who's asking you the tough questions? Who's telling you, man, you're the common denominator to all of your issues and challenges? Who's telling you, man, all day long, you become the magnetic pulse that attracts to you both good and bad? I want to be your life coach. I want to be the one that cheers you on to the finish line. I want to be the one that you ask the tough questions. And it doesn't mean that I have all the answers, but that means that you have a partner, someone who believes in you, not the you you see right now, but the you you can't imagine, the you that you are to become, the you you were destined to be. I always say we both need the positive and the negative. It's not enough to have the knowledge of the matter, but we must have the wisdom as well. For well, wisdom settles it. And that's what I want to offer you as you join me on the Coach's Corner. I want to offer you the wisdom of the matter. Maybe it might be relationships, talking about our campaigns for more, for life, the dark room for our subconscious, our spiritual journey, whatever it is, I want to be there to encourage you to build you, to challenge you, to cheer you on to the finish line. I'm qualified to do this. Why? Because I'm you. Because I'm you. Well, welcome to another edition of The Coach's Corner. My name is Marcus Saletta Shirley. As I approach the microphone, I have my own set of issues and, you know, just got some problems. <laughs> we all got them right. Uh, but I'm trusting that I can bring some wisdoms and I wish you could share some of your wisdoms. I mean, I don't know why some of you guys think it's just all one way, but this is supposed to be a two-way street. And uh, I trust that I can earn the right to speak into your life. Uh, for those that are listening worldwide, thank you so very much. Today we're going to be talking about briefly harnessing the power to move on, up, and out. Ain't no sense just sticking around. Folk that don't want to change. Folk that just, you know, bent on doing things crooked, criminal. You know, immoral, unethical, you know, it's time for you to move on. Uh, it's just that plain and simple. You need to move on, you need to move up while you're moving on, and then you need to move out while you're moving up. <laughs> okay? Uh, so thank you for listening to uh, SIBN Radio, the Coach's Corner, number one show on SIBN Radio. For all of those that are listening on the various platforms, man. You guys ready to get to work? I'm ready to get to work. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's do it. Are you ready to do the personal work that's required to change and to make it to the place where you really know you need to be? Uh, let's do it then. I, 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 man, I'm telling you, it's time to move on. It's time to move up. It's time to move out. Listen, I got a, a thought for you as I approach the microphone today. The people that you think will help you will not. The ones that you think won't help you will. The people that helped you before in the seasons of life where you gave them admiration and adoration for all the help that they supposedly, quote unquote, gave you will not help you in the next season. So you have to harness the power to move on, up and out. Did you hear what I said? Nothing is as it seems. As soon as you get comfortable with one group, then it's time for that group to go so God can move another group in. And let's take God out of it for right now because a lot of the doings in life is just an evolving of potential and seasons. It's not like God getting up off his throne and going and move, moving this over, moving that over. Everything that he's done through the son, Jesus Christ, if we were just talking to the Christians just for a quick second, has already been done. He doesn't do, have to do anything else. It's finished. It's the finished work of Christ. <laughs> and he's not getting up doing anything. The angels are moving around because when we speak, of course, the word, the angels carry forth the word to make sure that the manifestation thereof, you see what I'm saying? But some things got to go. If you're getting too old now to have to double back and play games, there's only one game you need to be playing. That's the game of life. So, you know, you have to give certain things to certain people in certain seasons and certain, you know, growth cycles a choice 
If you haven't learned the game by now, it might be too late to learn it. Back up out of it. Move on, move up, move out. Up while you're moving on, out while you're moving up, check. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? We're getting too we're getting too we're getting too old to be playing games here. And you know what's funny? And that's the reason why you gotta harness the power. You gotta harness it. You gotta put you gotta put a bit about your own ability. You know, because some people don't like you for you. They like you for what you can do. Yeah, pause and think about that. Most people don't like you. You strip away what you do and what you have to offer, people wouldn't even talk to you. Strip away what you got, what you've achieved, people wouldn't even speak to you. What's up with that? Am I my brother's keeper? No, heck no. We do not act like our brother's keeper. We're not concerned about our brother until something really, really horrific happens and then all of a sudden we unify out of instinct instead of intention. Too many of us human beings, both churched and unchurched, both Christian and non-Christian are doing too many things out of instinct instead of intention. So thereby we have to harness, put a bit around the ability the potential that we have and we have to move on we have to move up up while you're moving on out while you're moving up because if you stay where you're at you're gonna die and people are killing people every day things are killing people every day and ain't nobody sad about it or well, you might hear a tinkle here and there you might hear you know a whining over here and a complaint over there but overall there's no overall cry for life to continue on for folks the intention of the darkness of this world is to take you out and blemish your legacy and blast your potential to nothing to where you cannot be able to say to your grandkids your great grandkids this is what I was about check be right back Time to move on, man. It's just time to move on. Time to move on. Move up. Time to move out. I mean, how many times are we gonna have this conversation? I'm talking about, you know, that's that's what we're saying in our season and our growth cycle. How many times we gonna have that conversation? And sometimes, you know, you will engage people, you know what I'm saying? You know, switch hats. You know, and and and, and indulge them, you know. But remember what I said, everything is not as it seems. Everybody don't say what they mean. Don't depend on others to the point where your life is hanging on a string. And I hope that you really hear and get what I mean. The sad part about living in America, of which everybody seemed to aspire to want to come to, and you can't blame them, running water, people just living to pay bills, even the criminals make a living in America. The sad part about living here, we don't know what we got. We just don't know what we have. And we're busy doing everything we big enough to do. Crying for every kind of king and queen we want. While the milk is running out the side of your mouth. You're too immature to eat the meat of life. 
walking around with nothing but misery and strife and a dormant power that sits there, goes nowhere. Puff. Air. Meaningless. This conversation, you might want to say, is meaningless. But then someone else would use that statement to harm and to hurt what would normally should be a conflict resolution. You know, most people don't know how to resolve a conflict in today's society. This is this is ludicrous. This is absolutely ludicrous that people do not have any conflict resolution skills. Then you have to harness the power to move up, move on, move up, move out, move up while you're moving on and move out while you're moving up. Please. Where's the conflict resolution skills? People don't know how to solve problems anymore. Players still think they slick. Old cats still think they run things. I need some help right there. I had a guy step to me, talking to me about the potential to make millions for a particular deal. I looked at him and uh, engaged him, you know. But it just seemed like looking back on the whole ordeal, I should have just said, no, nah, man, no, nah, bro. Cause it seems like everybody that promised a job that has millions, it's more trouble than it's worth. I'd rather make $2 for show every hour and be able to walk away with my personal pride and power than be fooling with you, some old cat trying to get in and get over. <sighs> hurting, and, hurting and harming one another lying and cheating to get it done and then claiming on Sunday that the victory's won. Take a break. Be back. I mean, part of the wisdom in life is you got to know when to let go of things and you got to know when to let go of people. You got to know when to let go of projects. It's time for you to harness the power. Harness the power means you need to take control of your own ability and you got it where you will and not let other people use you just because of what you have to offer and what you have in your hand and what you have in your pocketbook and what you have in the bank and what you have from having graduated from school. Some people just only hook up because of what they can get from you. When are you going to get that? Some people will say the same language, adopt the same language. Some people will learn the same social s s network. What They will do whatever they have to do, like a chameleon to adopt to adapt rather to adapt to adapt to get into your world to get and step into your future and here you are still engaging in a conversation play the games if you will don't waste my time time i don't have to kill you know what i'm saying whatever you do play the game of life listen learn and look some people just don't want to grow up it's where they know they can't. There's no there's no room for improvement. It's where they got it. So there's no room for introspection. They got a lot of these shows popping up on cable television about dating, and finding a man, and you'd be surprised. Some of the finest men or women in this world don't even have a clue to help themselves. pause and think about it who you're leaning on is not who you need to lean on the people that are unlikely in your mind and your, your view to help you are the people that will go the distance while others promise the world and deliver nothing but a handful of sand I'm just saying it's time for you to harness the power put a bit on your ability 
felt that right there. It pushed me. Something pushed me. Put a bit on your ability. And learn to ride the horse of life. Hmm. And then whatever you do, make sure as you move on that you don't do something so stupid you have to look back. Because looking back ain't moving on unless you're looking back for the retrospective lessons that you have learned from the things that you have endured and things that you have encountered. But I'm just not interested in going backwards for any other reason but the reason I stayed. Take a break. Be back. While you're moving on out while you're moving on and up i felt that right there hard letting go man what you thought was an opportunity really was a lesson for you to step into the potential of your real real priorities because you have to watch what you fall in love with can trip up you and your potential yeah you gotta watch that. You gotta watch that. Lately, I've been doing some writing and I've been enjoying it. Yeah. Got a couple books I'm working on. And it's not that I haven't written books before, by the way. I was self publishing before self publishing was popular, selling my stuff in local uh, bookstores in the city where I grew up. Just paintings, paintings, and books, and all that kind of stuff got away from it why i got away from it because you just get to running in circles where folks strip you of what you should be doing and give you praise on things you shouldn't really be doing beyond the seasons that you were exposed to doing it and then we get all off track and it just becomes a mess and then when you really need help where are they and i want to ask you a question where the hell are the ones that are always giving you advice about this that and the other and then turn around when a problem comes up this is the whole issue that i have about harnessing the power to move on and move up and move out up while you're moving on and out while you're moving up it's because most people that give you the advice about how to solve something when it comes to solving something with you they give an excuse i need some help right there I need some help. Can somebody tell me what the hell is going on right there? What the hell is going on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I just, it's time for you to move on. Change your focus, reset your priorities, reignite your strategies, recertify your tactics. I'm sorry, it's just time to move on. And you know what? You keep doing the same thing, you gonna get the same result. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care who you are. Life is very subtle at times. If you don't pick it up, shake it up, and make it do something different, you'll be locked into a step that's not yours. You'll be listening to a beat that's not yours. You know what I'm saying? That's really all I got for you today. An unsuspecting situation will be created by those who see opportunities not as life in the real but real life <laughs> I'm just rambling here but I'm saying something I'm just rambling but I'm saying something hot off the press time to move on up up while you're moving on and out while you're moving up stop negotiating with folks that are not going to be fair they never intended to be fair. They don't plan to be fair. Come on now. Come on now. Move on up.
On while you're up. Out while you're up. Move on. You did all you can do. You know, said all you can say. There is no need for a constant. If most people had conflict resolution skills, you might continue to talk about it and be able to harness some kind of resolution. But people ain't interested in no resolution. They ain't interested in games where they can get what they want to get out of it and then blame it all on you instead of even the uh, 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 alcohol. They want to blame it all on you. They want to strip you, strip you of what you got. It's almost like when you look into the ocean of, of, of families and communities and a nation, it's like all these little spirits running the hell around playing these little games that we don't want to engage in. Dude, you got to understand, young lady, you got to open up your eyes and realize that everything is not as it appears. And everything is not as you see it with the naked eye. There are things going on behind the scenes that have nothing to do with you could with what you could have ever imagined, but it has a it has a tie-in and a buy-in to who you were and not who you are becoming. I don't have nothing else to say for the day but that it's time for you to harness your power and stop allowing these distractors and distractions to hinder you from doing what you gotta do shake it off and move on move up while you're moving on and out while you're moving up just the coach I just get heated, man, because everything is not like it seems. It's not like it. I don't care what nobody tell you. You know what always amazed me when you watch a television show and they interview a medium. And they want to see how accurate she or he is. Did you not know that there are familiar spirits within the realms of everyone's life one spirits and and, and, and and angels in our lives and I know for those that don't don't believe just plug your ears for a quick second and do you know that there are people who know how to read spirits it's just like in the world of success and it's just like walking into a house with a, a potential buyer and being a realtor and knowing how to read a room I'm just using that for a light example but the point of the matter is it amazes me how intricate and how interested and how impressed folks is because a medium comes on the scene and reads uh, the language between the living and the dead and, and everybody's all wooed like this could not happen this is some kind of rare occasion this is the normal thing man come on come on come on come on come on come on we too easily wooed we too easily wooed if you spent time more off the material and tapped into the spiritual you'd be able to read things too matter of fact that's probably what we need to be doing while we're talking about harnessing the power to move on move up move out we need to learn how to read things in the spirit and stop reading things in the natural and be able to catch things a little bit quicker and not waste our time and resources on folks and things and projects that have nothing to do with our destiny or maybe a test as we're on our ways to our destiny and we could pass the test and get the prize. I'm just I'm just a little tired and a little worked up. A little pissed off but it's better to be pissed off than to be pissed on you see what I'm saying 
I heard a song one time that said Jesus will make it all right. Sure enough, he will. But he gave you some skills. After he made it all right, he turned around and empowered you to say no. You see what I'm saying? He empowered you to say no. 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 I am not going to continue on this path. It's just not going to continue. Not going to continue. Not going to continue to engage. And if you do engage, and if you do continue on the path, remember to play the game of life. And part of the re part of the playing the game of life is realizing that everything is not like it seems. And some people you can't talk to direct, but you can talk to them indirect. And some things that you would have as an aforethought, you put that to the side and engage them where they are. I felt that something pushed me to tell you handle some things based on the intellect that you have and where the person is because they will never move to where you want them to move he or she would never move to where your perspective is so it's not that you condescend to their perspective but you handle the situation based on what you understand them to comprehend just need some help I need you I need you to tell me amen right on something <laughs> I'm ready to get out of here man thank you so much for listening I just you know I'm gonna be rambling I'm trying to say something of wisdom to you to get you to the finish line man don't forget to follow us on uh, the various platforms where we broadcast Twitter um uh, my mind is blank right now, man. Don't forget the fan pages. Law Talk Radio. They're almost 8,000 listens and two followers. What's up with that? So much hate out there. You can. It's, it's thick. It's thick, that hate that's out there. I ain't, ain't, ain't going to so, Maybe I should just get off the damn microphone. People don't want to improve. Nothing. What you want to improve? What the hell you want to improve for? just want to keep doing the same old stuff that I've been doing in Jesus name and then I call it success and when I'm died, dead and gone wow it is what it is that's the mentality out here now you know who gives a shit that's I mean just that's that's how people think and while you sitting up there talking about Jesus that's how people think they don't care they will say whatever they will do whatever they will lie they will cheat what is authentic anymore? What? Tell me what. Oh, Jesus is authentic. Yes, he is. But he's inside of you. And now you're supposed to be the light for those that are listening that may be Christians. You know, I mean, let's just keep it real. And if death is happening all around us, there's no resurrection power in the streets to make a difference. And you want to tell somebody else what they should and should not do. No, we, we we need us to rise up. That's what we need to do. Let's rise up together. But we can't do that because we're not we're not authentic enough. We haven't even practiced integrity. We just as fake as two left nickels. If there's two left nickels. <laughs> Pretentiousness has taken over. Well, he shouldn't say that. He's supposed to be a Christian. I'm supposed to be a lot of things. I'm more authentic than you give me credit for. It's time to move on. Up while you're moving on and out while you're moving up. Until next time, whatever you do, take care of yourself. You're listening to the sounds of the weekend drive and the weekday grind on SIBN Radio.